Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. I still use junk on eBay. Today is a Wednesday and we got like 19 orders going out on eBay, which is, if you've been watching the channel a while, that's probably the lowest number I've ever said. Um, things have been low. Um, not real sure why. Sunday things fell off a cliff and they have never really recovered. We did see a little bit better numbers on Tuesday. Tuesday was a little bit better. They had more like a almost $300 day or right at $300, but everything else has been like around $150 days. And we're used to $500 days. Um, not sure what's going on. I have done a lot of things to my eBay account in the meantime. Um, one is I finally switched from an individual account to a business account. Um, the only reason to do that is just kind of changing who owns that account. The LLC is now gonna own it instead of me owning it. Doesn't change anything else, doesn't change anything about the store, just changes ownership of the account. So I did that. So now my payments are on hold for a few days until like everything gets verified and all that great stuff. So I figured while there's no money coming in for a couple of days, go ahead and do that. And then it'll be zero instead of really low coming in. Um, got that going on, something I needed to do anyways. Second thing I've been, I did to my account was I went ahead and I ended all my promoted listings. I hadn't done this in a long time. And then I just restarted them all put them at 5% this time, which is higher than I normally do, but we're just trying to get out of this funk that we're in for whatever reason with the account with nothing, not nothing selling, but less selling than what we're used to. So I did that yesterday afternoon. I do not expect to see results for 24 to 48 hours, but hopefully things pick up because of that. But if not, oh well. Um, I'll keep listing and things will eventually sell. That's the thing with eBay. If you keep listing this stuff, eventually it's all going to sell. So I'm not too terribly worried about it, but man, it makes you nervous when you drop from like $500 a day to $100 a day. But um, things will be fine. We got money in the bank, we're good. But hopefully next week things are a lot better. I'm gonna show you guys what's sold here. We do have some fairly decent things here, some interesting things. And yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so we're gonna start down here on the floor. I listed these yesterday. This is a lot of books by Carl Summer. It's like a lot of, kids learning or like not learning especially but like virtues learning virtues that type of stuff so those are going out i think we did 32 dollars plus shipping on this lot or something i accepted an offer on it so i'm trying to get some stuff moving here's a part to an embroidery machine it is like a little extra case and then there's lots of stuff in there i just listed it all together do have some books going out. Hawking, Seven Laws of Christian Leadership. Sold that for $7 plus shipping. Um, here's an audio cassette book, The Devil's Horseman by James Chambers. Once again, I was the only one to have one of these listed. Toby Keith, he passed away. And on Monday, this sold Tuesday morning. It is new sealed, but the seal's kind of messy. That's why I didn't send it to Amazon. I think we got 6 or $7 plus shipping for that. I kind of hate selling things like that when the artist passed away, but it happens. So yeah, one pair of Wrangler jeans. I talk about these all the time, that leather patch on the back. If you can pick these up for a dollar or two, sell them for like 12 to 15, 12 to 25, somewhere in that range, they will do good. The American Sex Revolution by Sorkin, going international through the international shipping program. We got $40 plus shipping, and then we got one. William Faulkner, The Sound and the Fury going out. I think that's it for books. Oh, this was really cool. I over overpriced this because it was unavailable. And it finally dropped, dropped, dropped. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Dark and Sun, originally listed for 50. I think we sold it around 15, finally. It was up for a long time. Took an offer. Move it on out. Here are two of these garage door openers. I listed these the other day when I was listing car parts because they were within the car parts. Now, anytime I have something like this in the car parts, when I'm listing car parts that should sell fairly quickly, I'll list it a little bit lower because when I'm listing car parts, it, they're gonna take years to sell. That's just the way car parts are. You're waiting for somebody to come along that needs that particular part. So I got something like this that I know can sell quickly. I'll lower the price just a little bit to help generate revenue faster to kind of make up for that really slow moving day that I just did. This is going out, this little brass unicorn. The guy said he wanted this for like an army something graduation, or not graduation, I can't remember what words he used. But anyway, so he wanted it shipped out right away, so I thought that was neat. So we are gonna be shipping that out today. Make a little piece. 
sewing machine part. And last but not least, we got the one of these little scrubbing bubbles, one step refill. I believe they don't make these anymore, if I remember correctly. So decent thing to be on the lookout for at like estate sales. And that's about the only place you'll run into it. Maybe a thrift store. Oh, but that is everything in this unit. Let's go down the other one. All right, so here's everything else we got. One Kansas City Royals hat. Actually, I've got two nice Kansas City Chiefs hat. Super Bowls on Sunday. So I went and ended them and relisted them. Lowered the price, updated them. Hopefully they sell. Hopefully this Chiefs win and then they will sell. But we shall see. We shall see. Because I don't have any 49er stuff listed. That means I'm rooting for the Chiefs so that those will sell. One McDonald's hat going out. The employee hat was always sell fairly quickly, actually. Here's a Harley part. I think we got around like $80 plus shipping for this. Pretty cool. And another sewing machine part. Little needle clamp. Oh, one thing about my promoted listings I set up. I excluded all my sewing machine parts from the promoted listings. Because I don't think that's how people are finding those through promoted listings. I think those are all very heavily search based so we're trying that out at least for now a couple books tabernacle priesthood and offerings and diffusions and solids lots of religious books and lots of very technical science and math books is what we are selling right now as far as books go one pair of big star jeans look at the number on there 02 220 02 220 been listed a very long time very very long time and last but not least, this is a wand to a Kenmore vacuum cleaner. I think we got right around $20 plus shipping. I actually go out in a box a lot like this one. I had a bunch of posters in this that I listed that we brought to the storage unit today. I had like probably $700 worth of posters we brought in that thing today. So that was nice to bring those all here and put them away. I just kind of save up on my posters. I'm actually going to keep this. We're just going to save posters in it in my office until... I want to list posters. So we have like six hundred, seven hundred dollars worth of posters. Now list them all at once. I don't come across posters that often, but once or twice a year, we'll do that. That is everything. I do need to organize in here. We just got hat bins sitting on the floor. But besides that, this unit is looking pretty good right now. I guess there's two totes sitting on the ground over there too that I didn't put back up on the shelves. But I'm fairly happy with the way this unit is going as far as organization. If I would just put those back up on top. All right, let's go. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go home. I'm going to show you how to ship something. If I want to start doing that again. What do you guys want to see how to ship? Put down in the comment section below. I'll let you know, but let's go ship something at home. Let's do this. All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quickly how I ship out my small sewing machine parts. We ship out lots of these every single day. This is a needle clamp right here. If it's small, not going to get broken. We'll put it in a bubble mailer. I get these from Gyro Pack. This is their 4x8. I just looked right now, they're like 11 cents a piece if you buy them in bulk on their website. Great deal. Link in the description down below. Also use my code GRAFT10, you get 10% off. This is how I ship out my small sewing machine parts that we're shipping out every single day.